بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. I'll give you one example of that and I'll go on. I'll give you a scary example of that. Not only should the Muslim be thinking about himself when he's listening to the Quran, the Quran says or teaches us that even the kafir, the one who hates the message of the Quran, the one who disbelieves in the message of the Quran, when they listen to the Quran, even they shouldn't be thinking about the past, they should be thinking about themselves. How, where did I get this from? I told you two surahs mentioned a lot of stories of previous prophets. Which two surahs did I highlight today? Hud and Shu'ara, right? Hud 11 and 26. And Surah Hud once again. Very interesting phenomenon. I was actually sharing this with some brothers this morning. <coughs> and later this evening at Iftar. Allah dest- decided to destroy the nation of Lut. You know that? Allah decided to destroy the nation of Lut. You know how He decided to destroy them? فَإِذَا جَاءَ أَمْرُنَا جَعَلْنَا عَالِيَهَا سَافِلَهَا When our decision came, we decided to make their high points their low points. You know what that means? Their buildings were very high. And Allah said some kind of earthquake, tornado, hurricane, whatever He sent, but those buildings started caving in, the roofs, the ceilings started collapsing, and the buildings are falling apart because of these earthquakes that are coming on this nation. You know what happens when earthquakes happen, right? What are you supposed to do in an earthquake? You're supposed to get out of the building. Especially if it's a minor earthquake, stand underneath the doorways, right? Stand underneath the, the, the strong construction. But if it's a major earthquake, get out of the building, be outside. Allah says everything that was high was made low. Not a tree is standing. Not a roof is standing, everything's destroyed. When everything's destroyed, many people get crushed. But the people who didn't get crushed, where are they now? They're outdoors. There's no roof left. This was phase one of the punishment. فَأَمْطَرْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ حِجَارَةً مِّنَ السَّمَاءِ حِجَارَةً مِّنْ سِجِّيلٍ مَنْضُودٍ He says, we, then we started raining on them. Now you have no roof left, you have no tree left, you have no shade left. So when it's raining, do you have anywhere to go? No. What kind of rain was this? A rain made of stones. And then he adds the word manbud, which means, and I, I think you guys in Houston can appreciate this. You ever heard of this thing called flash floods? Right? The rain comes like a slap, like kush. And you say, okay, it's done. And then t- two seconds later, another slap, like kush. Like it falls like a, a bucket falls in one shot instead of light drizzles. Allah says the, the, the stones would come from the sky, one big smack. And you would think it's done. Then another layer, then another layer, then another layer. You know, I was giving the younger guys examples because they play a lot of modern warfare or whatever else. It's like, <laughs> it's like that. You know, reload and then again, reload and then again, reload and then again. It kept on coming like that. And then the next ayah tells us something even more scary. Says Musawwamatan. Musawwamatan. Every single pebble had been branded like it had the criminal's name on it. You know how in sniper fire you target very specifically? Every single bullet that sent from Allah sent from the sky was told, this is who you're gonna hit, this is where you're gonna hit him. Exact targeting. First Allah brought the targets out of the houses. Because if they were still inside the house, you can't hit them. So first Allah shook the houses and got them out of the way. Now they're outdoors, now the firing begins, the firing squad begins. And at the end of all of this, you know what he says? Of course, what nation did I just tell you about? Lut, Lut. And you know who the first people listening to this was? The Quraysh are listening to this. And the Quraysh were listening to this. And to them, this is old history. This is not something that happened that they saw. This is old history for them. Allah says in the same ayah, وَمَا هِيَ لِلظَّالِمِينَ بِبَعِيدٍ Watch out. For anybody who does wrong, this isn't that far away. For anyone who does wrong, this isn't far away. Who should they be thinking about now? Themselves, immediately. The history lesson became alive for them. 